the default style for the main text in a brand new document is called normal. And inside is where all the settings come from. The default font Calibri, the font size 11, the left aligning and everything else. To modify this normal style to suit your needs for the formatting of your main text, all you need to do is go over the style itself, right click and click on modify. From the pop-up window that will open, you can see the option to change the default font. I'm going to choose Arial as it is one of the more popular ones, but please do check your module handbook in case you are required to use a different font. And the default option for the font size is 11, which is perfectly fine, so you can leave it like that unless you're specifically told to change it to something else. Usually it's either 11 or font size 12. I'm just going to leave mine at 11. The next three options are for bold, italic or underline. Remember, this is for the entire main text of your document. So you don't really need your entire text to be bold, italic or underlined. So leave those options untouched. The next option is automatic, which is for the color. The automatic in this case is set to black, so we can just leave it like that. On the next line, there are a set of options for the paragraph itself. And the first four options are for the alignment of the text. The two options you need to choose from are aligned to the left or fully justified. Both of them have pros and cons, and it is up to you to decide. Usually you're not given detailed instructions like this, so it is your personal preference. Left aligning will leave the right side quite uneven, like in this sample document that I have on the screen but the distance between all the words in the entire text will be identical. If you choose to fully justify it, in order to achieve that, the computer will need to stretch the spaces between the words on all lines that are a bit shorter to compensate, so you may have a bit uneven spacing between the words inside your text. So it will look, it will look very neat overall, but inside there will be small differences in the spaces. So it's entirely your personal preference. I'm going to choose fully justified so you can see what it looks like. The next three options are for the line spacing of the paragraphs. And this is the distance between the lines inside the paragraph itself. The first option is single spacing. The second option is one and a half line spacing. And the third option is double line spacing. Please do check your module handbook, but the vast majority of the cases you're either given choice or you're told to be one and a half line spacing. So I'm just going to choose one and a half line spacing, but please do check your module handbook. All the time as you're making those changes, you can see a preview of your text, or if you don't have any text in your current document, it's just going to give you sample text, but you will see how your document will look like once you started using those settings. Right at the bottom of the dialog box, you will also see a button called Format. If you click on this button, it will open up a number of different options to allow you more detailed settings for all of those things. What we need to format a little bit more is the paragraph. So we have to go to the paragraph option. This will open another dialog box and inside there are a number of options that you'll need to consider. The first option is to specify the alignment. The next option specifies the outline level, which is extremely useful option because this is how the computer will understand if something you type is your main text or it's a heading that needs to appear in your table of content. If you look at all the different options, you will see that you have body text and level one, two and up to level nine. The body text will be the main text of your document and level one will be your top level headings, level two will be the subheadings, level three will be sub subheadings and so on. So at the moment we are formatting the main text, so we'll just leave it as body text, but we'll use it in the future. The indentation is additional distance that you may specify to be added to the margin. So for example, if you have quotes, they'll need to be indented so you can specify the indentation from here. The special options are quite interesting, although you may not need them at the moment. They're quite useful to know. The first line option is widely used around the world to indent the first line of a paragraph to specify that this is a new paragraph. You may have seen it in journal papers and a lot of books. You do not do that for uh, your dissertation or project or an article you may be writing unless you're specifically required to do so. 
but in the future you may need to. The hanging option is the exact opposite of first line, where the first line of the paragraph is in fact hanging outside and the rest of the paragraph is indented. It's almost exclusively used in reference lists. So for your text here in this document, you do not need any special settings for indentation, so choose none. However, since we're not indenting in any way in the beginning of the paragraph, we need to clearly separate the paragraph so it's easier for the reader to understand your text. So the spacing before and after will need to modify to make sure it's clear. The default settings are for zero points before a paragraph and eight extra points after each paragraph. So you can see in the sample document here that there is a little bit of an extra gap between the paragraphs. But eight extra points is usually not enough, especially when you're using one and a half line spacing. So I'm going to increase this to 12 points. And the spacing before, I'm also going to change to six points. This is your guaranteed minimum space between the paragraphs. So in our case, between two paragraphs, you will always have 12 points, but you may have a heading above a paragraph with six points between the heading and the paragraph, unless the heading settings are set to need more space. With all of those settings done, you can just click OK to finish modifying the paragraph settings and OK to finish modifying the normal style. And from now on, in this document, the text will be using this normal style.